to say It's taken a while to get this far I'm caught in the way It's taken a lot to get this close Cause we're one and the same Chasing colors after dark In your heart I believe in you The way you pull me in Can't pretend we're a work of art After dark in your heart I believe in you The way you pull me in Can't pretend I have the blade I'll be chasing colors What's going on guys? It's your friendly neighborhood motor vlogger here, Moto Mike, and that's Moto Mochi. And if you guys haven't already seen it, brand new helmet. We got her, uh, this is a Built Force 10. I'll put a link down in the description um, if you guys want to get the helmet. We added some nice horns to the top and another light mode kit to match. Uh, this one is the Blade, uh, I believe it's the Neutron Blade S kit uh I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for that one too if you want it um i think it looks pretty sick she did the painting herself this helmet came in a high vis green color with some gray accents all over she uh sanded it and painted it all on her own that's how creative this one is so yeah we're going to a car show and um just a couple updates because i know i haven't updated uh i haven't uploaded a video in a while um we got a brand new chain on there and i know they say oh you're supposed to get brand new sprockets along with the chain well my sprockets are in very good condition so really didn't need to do that i am going to get a new rear tire soon because i'm kind of starting to get a flat spot and uh i think that's about it <sighs> oh yeah yeah um i'll <laughs> she just reminded me of uh my new warhawk that i got for my helmet i posted probably not <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, I'll here. I'll just put a picture up here and here. So uh, yeah, that's the new one. All right, let's go. You good? guys another thing I wanted to mention about this new chain uh, the place where I got it put on because there's no way I was gonna go and put it on myself because I don't have the tools to do it and you need a very specific tool to rivet the master link I don't have that one quick topic I wanted to touch on before we head to the car show uh, excuse me <laughs> how far can you ride on a tire more specifically a rear tire that has had a puncture and you put a, uh, a tire plug in it. This only stands for punctures, like actual holes, like just straight in. It can't be like a gash, like a, a tear or anything like that because I, I really would not recommend um, repairing a tire like that, much less trying to ride on it um, long term because you it is definitely possible and safe for you to pass a tire and continue riding on it until the uh, until the tread is entirely gone or you know w until whatever point you feel comfortable keeping it and then you want to uh, change it rule of thumb I really don't recommend trying to patch a front tire and expecting it to last just as long as it normally would without that hole simply because it's your front tire like dude I, I, I don't know about any anyone else but I really really don't trust that alright we're coming up on the car show or is it here or is it the next one I believe it's ah, it doesn't matter I can I can get to that area from here not a big deal 
Now anyways guys, um, how long can you actually ride on a tire that has a plug in it? It depends on A, what kind of plug you use, and B, if it's done well. Uh, because you, believe it or not, you can botch a tire plug. <laughs> um, and C, how much tread is left on the tire and how bad the hole is. Like I said before, if it's a tear in the tire, don't even bother. Just change the tire. Because it's a huge safety issue. Because if it's a tear and you try to plug it with, you know, like those typical tire plugs that you get at like a gas station for like five bucks, you're going to have a bad time, I'm telling you. Um, it, it's very prone to popping. I've never had this happen to me because I've never done that with a tire tear, but it's not something you want to do, believe me. First of all, if it's a tear, please, please, for your own safety, just change the tire. Second of all, if it's a hole, like I mentioned, go ahead and plug it, but make sure you do it properly, and please don't use a mushroom plug. Please, I know people say that those are good and they're easy to use and blah blah blah, but in and of it, in and of itself, a mushroom plug just isn't the safest option in my opinion. I don't trust those, and they also pop easily. Like they they um, they come out of the tire very easily, as easily as they go in, they come out just as easily. You really don't want to do that. So stick with the the normal. Um, I'll put a picture up on the screen of it, because uh, I can't think of the name of it right now. But as of this moment, we have arrived. Now it's just a matter of finding a decent spot to park. Guess we'll park right here. Alrighty. I will see you at the end of this car show. Honestly, I uh, I haven't gone to one of these in a while. I missed it, and Moto Mochi missed it as well. Uh, but you know, sometimes life gets in the way. You just got to deal with it. That's part of being a grown up. I, I think I can call myself that at this point. Um, but yeah, it's the end of the car show. Some people have, well, actually, a great amount of people have left at this point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video. As always, make sure to check my channel out for more updates. Check out my Facebook, my Instagram, and Twitter for more content. Um, and yeah, that should that should about do it. So as usual, outro time. That's Moto Mochi. I'm Moto Mike, and I will see you guys in the next Moto Vlog. Moto Mike out.